So, uh, yeah, we, uh, we kind of, we, we kind of did a thing. Alrighty, today I'm just gonna do a little bit of a vlog style about this guy. So, we went ahead and pulled the trigger and got ourselves a Keystone Avalanche 5 pull out camper to live in for a little while while our house building stuff is underway. So there's a few things that we need to fix on this, like this got cracked. This is squidgy. There's even a mushroom growing out of it. There's some wires hanging. This is cracked. That handle is broken. Probably gonna remove those so we can just di put new ones on for where we're staying. More wires hanging. The awning's broken up there. And it's on the other side. And this is squishy. And this is squishy. So there's a little bit of water damage in a few different spots, but overall the trailer is in really good condition. But because there's water damage, we got a really good deal on it. And it's stuff that I can fix on my own versus having to pay somebody to do it. There's a squishy spot right here. But other than those few things, overall it is really good condition. Everything's working very well on the inside and just a few little patches here and there on the outside. All right, let's take a little tour of the inside. So this is the interior, just kind of general basics. All the lights work, TVs and cabinets and hardware. The box. The master bedroom. Washer dryer combo thingamajigger. Another TV. Bathroom. But I'll go ahead and throw up a few just snapshot pictures of what it looks like right now uh, so that you can get a gist of the before and after and just kind of an idea of what's going to go down. Uh, but one of the big things is all of this stuff's going to come out. I'm going to get curtains to go around all the windows. We're going to paint everything white and just generally give it a facelift, make everything look fancy. And so began the long, arduous process of stripping out the interior of this. And like I said, everything was going to be relatively easy, but as every single uh, job goes, especially within RVs, every time you start in on fixing one thing, you find a few more broken things down underneath. So I did find a little bit more water damage in the kitchen area. I'll show you that here in a little bit, but this is me just kind of ripping things out and throwing it out the door. And I have some time lapse of going through and renovating it, uh, but you just kind of get a general overview of, of how it all went down. Enjoy. All right, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the water damage right here. You can see all along this lip right here, the water came down, got in and seeded the piece of wood that's underneath there and got it completely saturated. So if you look under here, there's a big sheet of plastic that acts as a slide and helps it go in and out and protect the wood from the weather but the bead seam up here usually right in the corner and also a little bit of call it a cab uh, what is it called cabin core going on right here I got some cabin core the max mushrooms going out the side but yeah so definitely something we need to fix I was inspecting it a little bit and if you look the silicone bead all down this section here to right there is completely torn off. So that is most likely the water ingress point. And it was soaking in there and then caused that to rip off while sliding in and out because it was so soaked and wet and just came right out of the wood. Alrighty. So the plan of attack here is there's a bunch of screws right along the top here. We'll get this front lip off first. And then once we get the front lip off, we can pull that, uh, the other lip like this one on the other side. This guy right here, get that one out of the way. And then uh, we'll be able to pull that bottom piece out 
And then the next step is pull a couple of these screws off, at which point we'll use these boards and those bottle jacks to prop it up. We'll just, and then uh, that'll give us a little bit of lift on the sidewall there so that we can get the board out, pull everything loose. Um, but once we get the bottle jacks in, we'll have to go inside and disconnect some things on the inside so that it'll come out a little bit further and basically be free floating. So we'll just watch on the high speed for a minute while I'm getting that all prepped up and then uh, move on to the next step. Okay, come in here really quick. Turn off the AC so you can hear me. But we can come back in, you can kind of see the extent of the damage on the inside. We got mold actually coming up through the carpet. Ooh, that's smells kind of bad. Anyway, so I got mold coming up to the carpet. Absolutely destroyed everything down in there. Going up into the walls a little bit, so we'll have to clean stuff out. Uh, but yeah, this board right here is when we're pulling out. Lines up on the outside. I'm gonna pull this back right now. Thank you. 
sorry for the crappy audio, but uh, yeah, got the floor in. Woo! Saw some of that on time lapse, but I figured I'd just do a little quick tour and kind of show what we've got going on. So we've got walls primed, ready to go. We're gonna do a final coat of paint tomorrow. We'll have to retape some stuff. I think we're actually gonna paint the ceiling. Uh, but anyway, uh, here we go. And as always, tools just kind of amass themselves everywhere. We got the bedroom painted, but we're letting it vent out right now because it's uh, all kinds of crazy up there. But yeah, and then we need to do this wall over here. And we're ready to lay tile after that.